Good afternoon, I'm Mark Reck with Reck Agri Realty and Auction and welcome to Canals Brothers Pivot Irrigated Land Auction Buyers Informational Video. Our buyers meeting today is basically going to go over the pertinent information on the Canals Brothers property that we're offering for sale. The auction is on Tuesday, December 1st at 10.30 a.m. here at our um, auction center. If you'd like to follow along on the information I'm going to be going over, please uh, click on the tab that says detail brochure and you'll be able to follow along on the information that I'll be going over. To begin with, I'm going to be starting on page one of the detail brochure. Canals Brothers uh, Inc. is offering their 160 acres with 130 acres of pivot irrigated. The Canals Brothers uh, pivot irrigated land auction is an auction with reserve. The parcel is going to be offered as a single unit. Competitive bids will be determine the outcome of the auction. Bids will be taken for total purchase price, not price per acre. Immediately following the conclusion of the auction, the buyer will enter into the uh, contract to buy and sell uh, for the amount of the bid. Required earnest money deposit is 15% of the purchase price and is due and payable the day of the sale. They'll be deposited in Rec Agri Realty and Auctions Trust Account. If you want to see a copy of the contract you'll be entering into, please uh, look at the detailed brochure and a sample contract is included within. This purchase contract is not contingent upon financing, so you have to have your financing in order or uh, cash in order to be able to purchase. The closing shall be in uh, good funds. Uh, buyer shall pay in good funds the day of the closing, which is honored before January 7th. The closing is to be conducted by Yuma County Abstract, and the closing service fee is to be split 50-50 between the buyer and the seller. The seller is going to pass title by a warranty deed, free and clear of all liens and encumbrances. Title insurance will be used as evidence of marketable title. A, um, the title insurance premium will be split 50-50 between the buyer and the seller. The buyer will receive a to-be-determined title commitment within a uh, detailed brochure. The day of the auction when you sign, you are agreeing that you have reviewed the title commitment prior to the sale and uh, you're agreeing to the uh, terms and conditions and the title exceptions within the commitment. After the auction, you'll receive an updated title commitment with the buyer's name, purchase price, and uh, any updated information. After the auction, you will receive a title insurance policy in the amount of the purchase price. Possession of the property is upon closing. Prospective buyer shall verify all information contained herein and uh, is basically buying the property as is, where is, and should do all their full inspections. The water rights and equipment. Seller to convey all water and water rights, uh, well permits and equipment are pertinent to the property. You are buying uh, the property with well permit 13880-FP. The water rights are subject to the rules, regulations, and limitations of Colorado Department of Water Resources, the local groundwater management district, and the Republican River Conservation District. All water rights are being sold as is, whereas without warranty or guarantee of any water right matters, pumping rates, or and or adequacy of irrigation wells and condition of all irrigation equipment. There's no growing crops included in the sale of the property. I'm going to turn to page two. Terms and conditions will continue on. Um, you'll get whatever base, uh, FSA base acres and yields pass with the parcel as designated. Buyer and seller will at closing sign a memorandum of understanding stating the base acres and yields is designated within the detailed brochure. The 2015 real estate tax is payable in 2016 to be paid by the seller. The 2016 real estate tax is due and payable in 17 and thereafter be paid by the buyer. Legal descriptions are subject to existing fence field boundaries or land use trades if any. Minerals, sellers convey all own mineral rights to the uh, property. That includes three producing gas wells that are currently located on the property. Noxious weeds, I'm not saying there is any out there, but uh, general disclosure, there may be areas infested by noxious weeds, i.e. bindweed, Canadian thistle, rye, goat grass, etc. Location of and density of noxious weeds unknown at this time. All acreages in the initial brochure, detailed brochure and visual presentation at the auction are approximate and are either obtained from aerial photos from the FSA office or from the county tax records. These acreages may be different. 
All bids are for total parcel without regard to exact acreage. There's no warranty expressed or implied as to the exact acreages of the property. There's no adjustment in purchase price if acres is different than what's stated in the brochure stated at the auction. Bidder requirements. We offer four ways to bid at our auctions. Our preference is for you to be here in person and live. Our other three ways of bidding is by proxy, by bidder internet, and by cell phone. If you're going to be bidding by proxy, internet, or by cell phone, you need to get approval from us 24 hours prior to the auction. One of those uh, conditions of approval is that you've reviewed the detailed brochure and agreed to the terms and conditions of the detailed brochure. Announcements, uh, again, uh, general announcements. The information contained herein has either been given to us by the owner of the property or we obtained from sources we deem reliable. We have no reason to doubt its accuracy, but do not guarantee it. Location maps are not intended as a surveyor, but are for general location purposes only. Again, you're urged to fully inspect the property, its condition, and rely on your own conclusions as you're buying the property as is, where is, without a warranty representation or recourse to the seller or to rec ag realty and auction. So now we're gonna go over the bidding process. This is basically very simple with only one tract. Go to the uh, far right screen. We're videotaping the auction for legal record. I'll go through the information on this particular tract. And uh, once we're through that information, we'll start the bidding and we'll go into the bidding stops. So say our initial bid and the last highest bid is 850,000. So we'll see that that bid in is at 850,000. Price per irrigated acre is 6,538. And the bidder number is, and we'll insert the bidder number, 102. We'll take a break. Then we'll come back and we'll do round two. Round two was gonna be bidding only and uh, we'll, we'll go into the bidding stops. And so say that the bidding goes up to 950,000. So you'll see the price is at 7,307, bidder number 102 still has the high bid. We'll now begin round three. Round three is the final time through, and uh, when we get to the highest bid, I will say sold. So, say that our highest, we begin the, the bidding, and the highest bid ends up at a million fifty thousand. That's eight thousand seventy-six per irrigated acre. Bidder number one zero five. So this is where I'll declare the property sold. So in this case, it's not a multi-parcel auction, it's a single auction, it's very simple and um, we'll move right along, but we'll make sure that we have uh, opportunity for everybody to ask questions and do whatever we need to do. So now let's go on to page number five of the detailed brochure. This is the property information for uh, this particular tract. The legal description is the southeast quarter of 18 Township 5 North, range 46 west of the 6 p.m. in Yuma County, Colorado. If you want to see the legal description, the title, commitment, the exceptions, look on pages 7 to 20. The acreage is 130 plus or minus acres of pivot irrigated, 25.3 plus or minus acres of dry land corners, 4.7 plus or minus acres of grass and roads. We have 160 plus or minus total acres. The land tenure of the property is it's level with highly productive class two soils. You can see the soils map on page six. Our real estate taxes for 2014 payable in 2015 were $1,082.78. The uh, Washington Yuma County Management District Assessment was $20. Re Republican River Water Conservation District Assessment was $2,247.50. Our FSA base is 126.9 acres of corn with 130 PLC yield. It's currently enrolled in the ARC County program. Our irrigation water and equipment is described as well permit 1388-FP, adjudicated for 400 acre feet to irrigate 160 acres. The irrigation equipment includes 150 US electric motor with pump and an eight tire valley pivot. And if you look on pages 39 to 43 for the well log, the final permit, and we recently had the irrigation well tested, and you can see a well efficiency test. The seller is conveying their mineral rights, which includes three producing gas wells. If you want to look to my right, 
This is an aerial photo of this particular tract. We have the 130 plus or minus acres of pivot irrigated, and we have the dry summer follow here. Uh, dry uh, corner here at summer follow, uh, the summer follow here in the very low right hand corner. And then there's a kind of a pit up in this area, but there's total of about 25.5 plus or minus acres of dry summer follow in all four corners. In this uh, corner right here, there is a grain bin. I believe it's about 10,000 bushel. As part of the detailed brochure, I, I would definitely uh, uh, review the well tests, the title commitments, um, the well logs, uh, as this is very important for this irrigated farm. This concludes the buyer's informational meeting, and if you have any further information, please do not hesitate to call me, Mark Reck at Reck Agri Realty and Auction, or Troy Vogel at 970-522-7770. Thank you.